everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a fun autumn craft for you today. I am getting pelted out of it with leaves in my garden. So I decided I was going to do a leaf DIY. So I was having a look online and I was like, what can I make with these leaves? I saw the Pinterest leaf ball where they stick a load of glue. They stick a load of leaves on to the bottom of a ball with glue. Um, let us set and then you have a leaf ball but then I seen a lot of fail videos and I was like oh do I want to try that so instead I had some clay knocking about in my crafting kit and um, it's air dry clay so cheap you can pick this up in the craft shop they have some inspiring ideas the clay I have I actually used last year I got it from Nook a papa here I used it last year on my pumpkin video and it was in storage and thankfully it didn't hurt and it was still good. So I used some air dry clay to make these cute little leaf trinket balls and they're so cute. I was actually inspired by, I'm going to pop an insert in here, I have this leaf trinket dish that I got in Heaton's last year. Haven't seen them since, love it. They also have some in home scents I think. So that's what I'm going to be making in today's video. Really, really simple. Do let me know if you give this a shot. Let's get into the video. I gathered up my favourite leaves that I found in the garden for this project. I wanted to pick ones that had some nice shape. I am using some air dry clay for this DIY so I simply just took a chunk of it out of the bag and rolled it out. It's much easier if you use an actual rolling pin. I do not actually have a rolling pin because I don't bake so I had to improvise here. I simply placed the leaf on top of the clay and gently rolled it. I wanted to get all of the details from the leaf into the clay. I then used a knife just to gently cut around the leaf. You can use a blade but I found this clay to be easy to work with so a knife or even a butter knife would do the job here. You can use a bowl or a teacup depending on the size of the leaf and the trinket dish that you want. So line them with some cling film and then simply pop it in and mould it and shape it to the shape that you want. Once my clay leaf dishes were fully dry, I then used some bright copper spray paint. I love the colour of this spray paint. I only had to do one coat of spray paint for this DIY and then I allowed it to fully dry. enjoyed and liked my trinket dish DIY. Using clay, I hadn't actually thought of using it and I had some in my stash and I'm actually like what else can I make with this clay because it was actually a really fun make. I left mine to dry overnight. I did read somewhere that you can kind of speed up the heating process but I was afraid that if I use like you know a hair dryer on them that they would crack so I just left these to dry overnight and then I sprayed them. I didn't have to use any like primer or anything. I was nervous that the spray paint might because the clay felt very porous but once I sprayed these I actually just gave them one coat normally when I'm spray painting I would do two coats these lads only needed one coat and I'm pleased to say they are durable and I haven't broken any yet touch wood 
So I hope you guys are all getting the autumn feels like I am. I actually ordered some polystyrene pumpkins, so I'm hoping to have a pumpkin DIY coming soon. I know a lot of you guys in the US, you still kind of have warm temperatures. Um, in Ireland, it oh, you get the four seasons in the one day in Ireland, but it's proper autumn now. As soon as I came back from my holidays, leaves were on the ground. I've been like mowing and leaf blowing, and now I've just given up the battle and I've let the leaves win. I'll. I'll sweep them up in spring. <laughs> so lads, let me know if you gave this DIY a try or if you have any like clay DIY ideas that you think I like, comment below. Also, pop on over to Instagram. That's where you'll catch me during the week is over on Instagram. I'll pop my handle here and you can come over and have the chats over there. Tag me also in your DIY makes. Have a great week everyone and I will chat to you all in the next video. Bye.